great to be here in Provo, Utah. I'm making friends already. Front desk clerk at the Days Inn said, comedian, huh, are you funny? I said, if I were funny, I'd be staying at the Marriott. People are so friendly here. I asked somebody where I could find a good cup of coffee. They prayed for my soul. to a guitar store in town and ruined some teenager's day, I said, no, kid, I am not Getty Lee from Rush. <laughs> Which kind of bummed me out, too, because the only thing worse than being a goofy-looking dude with long hair and a high voice is being the wrong goofy-looking dude with long hair and a high voice. <laughs> Are you the bass player from Rush? No, I'm the lead singer from REO Speedwagon. <laughs> Well, I don't like them. Well, in that case, I'm Owen Wilson with a nose job. <laughs> it's not easy being a man with a high voice because although some of you are thinking it's not that high, most of you are thinking you're a man. Congratulations on your journey of self-discovery. <laughs> Because of this voice, I've spent my entire life defending my masculinity. In grade school, nice voice, Jeffrey, you sound like a sissy. Well, I'm not a sissy. My daddy says I'm a tomboy. <laughs> In the army, nice voice, Private, why don't you grow a pair? Because, drill sergeant, if I had a pair, I'd be in the Marine Corps. <laughs> Even now in comedy. Hey, nice tote bag, Jeff, is that your purse? No, it's not my purse. It's my genuine leather Harley Davidson motorcycle utility bag I carry my hair care products in. <laughs> Call it a purse one more time. I'll reach in, pull out my detangler brush, and beat you with it. <laughs> I called my first dry bar comedy special Manly Girly Man. Because although I'm not a manly man, I'm not a girly man either. I'm right in the middle. I'm what you might call a manly girly man. Whenever one of my manly man friends says, hey Jeff, what would you rather have, bro? A Dodge Challenger Hellcat or a Shelby Mustang 5.0? I'm like, I don't care, bro. Whichever one has eight cylinders and comes in purple. <laughs> Whenever one of my manly man friends says, Hey, Jeff, who rocks harder, bro? Aerosmith or Metallica? I'm like, Aerosmith, bro, because those guys are survivors, and dude looks like a lady is my jam. <laughs> If there are any manly men here tonight, and we have a few, you, sir, are a manly man. You, sir, are a manly man. You, sir, are on the waiting list. <laughs> How do you like that, sir? You just got roasted by Keith Urban's sister. <laughs> who are wondering if you two, like me, made me a manly, girly man, there's a way you can tell. So with apologies to one of my favorite comedians, Jeff, you might be a redneck if Foxworthy. <laughs> if you've ever walked into a butcher shop and asked for pumpkin spice beef jerky, you might be a manly, girly man. <laughs> If you've ever watched a professional wrestler pummel an opponent with a folding chair and thought, nice cape, you might be a manly, girly man. <laughs> if you've ever watched a John Wick movie with Keanu Reeves and wished there had been more scenes with the dog, you might be a manly, girly man. <laughs> if a woman asks you if you have protection and you whip out a tube of sunblock, you might be a manly, girly man. <laughs> If the only thing you've ever made with your own two hands is gluten-free banana nut bread, sir, you might be a manly, girly man. <laughs> if you carry an Allen wrench on your keychain just in case you make an impulse by at Ikea, you might be a manly, girly man. 
If you've ever thought of becoming a longshoreman just so you can get discounts at Pier 1, you might be a manly girly man. And if you're sitting there thinking, but Jeff, didn't Pier 1 go out of business over a year ago? Then you are definitely a manly girly man. If you've ever turned three albums worth of funny at formulaic one-liners into a multi-million dollar entertainment empire, you might be smarter than a fifth grader. 